Hey guys this is Carl Franz Total War. Today I'd like to do a start and early game tips video for faction in Medieval 2, this time we're talking about Venice. Now before we begin, I'd like to let you guys know that this is based on my personal opinion and my experience, and the campaign we're going to talk about is the short campaign. As you can see here, Venice is probably the first faction of many who play Medieval 2 for the first time, which makes it a very popular pick amongst player. So with that being said let's not waste any more time. Okay, so the first we're going to talk about is the strength about the faction itself. As Venice, it is probably one of the strongest early game faction in the game. You got Italian Spear Militia at your disposal and available to recruit more of them right away. And if you like being aggressive, you can upgrade your garrison quarter in Venice to get access to Pavai's Crossbow Militia. Or you can recruit a couple of crossbowmen mercenaries in the area if you're impatient. As Venice, the initial start is not as rough as other factions. You can quickly get around and send your diplomats to get a trade agreement to your nearest neighbor including the Papal States itself, which can boost your relations and income at the same time. But particularly in very hard difficulties, you might want to sign alliance and buy Bologna from the Holy Roman Empire to secure your border, and also avoid unnecessary hostilities between you and the Empire. After securing your border with Holy Roman Empire, you can freely move your armies through to capture nearby rebel settlement in Florence. The rebels in this settlement is fairly easy to crush. The next step I'd like to do is capturing Zagreb, which is occupied by rebels just north of Ragusa. Again, this is basically an easy battle with the rebels, and turns out, Zagreb is the one you need to defend since it has a precious gold mine that can boost your income. The next step I recommend is to get an alliance with Hungary ASAP to help you for upcoming war with Byzantine Empire, though it's not always work, it is worth a try. Note that the AI in Medieval 2 is sometimes unpredictable and will often betray you for no reason, such in my case of my recent campaign with Venice, but who knows, maybe you guys will have a different results and experience, let me know in the comment. Since Venice is strong in early game, you'd probably want to set your priority on taking out Milan first, and you can do it by surprise since Milan is mostly going to capture rebels' settlement to the north, leaving their capital and Genoa exposed and undefended. By the time you invade Milan, you should consider yourself recruiting a small but capable army to prepare yourself for the next target, Byzantine Empire. I'd recommend some spear militia and provise crossbowmen to capture Corinth, one of Byzantine castle near your border. It is often left unattended, but you should expect their reinforcement to come from the east side. Now the thing with Corinth is, it is the closest castle you can capture that can be upgraded into fortress, which will enable for you to recruit the best infantry in the game. After that the rest of the campaign is easily managed. The problem with Venice is, sometimes when you thought of who would be your ally, turns out to be your enemy in many unexpected ways. For example, you could forge an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire at the very first turn and maintain it for a couple of turns, then they will send the army towards your capital when they think you're defenseless, or when they think your city could be easily taken. But recently I played as Venice I got to maintain a strong alliance with the Holy Roman Empire. I also buy Bologna from them to avoid a military transgression by accidentally sending my armies into their borders, so I can safely say that sometimes the AI is unpredictable. Also you need to be careful while playing as Venice, as you're literally in the middle of the map, surrounded by potential enemies such as Sicily, Milan, France, the Holy Roman Empire, Moors attacking in naval, you name it, so securing an alliance with some factions you're not planning on going to war with is crucial. Okay guys I think that's it for the video. So what do you think about Venice? How is your experience while playing as Venice? If you guys have any better and creative idea, feel free to state your strategy in the comments so the other knows too. Thank you for watching, and if you really like this kind of video, consider leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. This is Carl Franz Total War, and I will see you next time.